Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth part tutorial on this series of how to model an iPhone. Now, I have the feeling that I'm doing things in a rush and also speaking and explaining in a rush and it's basically because I think that uh, this tutorial it's may it may be it might be for beginners but also um, I'm trusting on people who also already been uh, have some background with Maya or at least uh, ac made few exercise lessons uh, on uh, tutorial with using tutorials in my channel. So that's why everything is a little bit on a rush with this tutorial and I want to uh, in this tutorial to fix few issues I had and it's not necessary will happen to you um, it really depends on uh, what you did or what you did wrong um, so for example um, I examined my model uh, after the third part tutorial and um, also in the middle of the tutorial of the third part I told you that there is nothing wrong with this uh, face uh, removed or actually it's supposed to act like it's transparent but it's uh, really not there okay so we do have problems with this um, kind of model okay uh, it's not good and we need to fill this uh, holes and um, I don't want to really right now well let's try let's try um, I don't know maybe it will work maybe it won't work but let's give it a try. I will try to choose this edge and this edge also. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, this edge also. And we'll try to fill hole. So you see, this is how you fix this. Um, sometimes it won't work, uh, but um, as you can see now, it's working. I'm choosing those two also. And mesh fill all. Um, well, I'm not sure if it really concerned uh, you because maybe your model is better than what I just did. Um, but if you having the same problem, uh, I'm trying to um, give you a solution for them. So just use the fill hole, and hopefully it will um, fix your issues also. Um, see here it's also happening so I'm catching those two edges and filling the hole um, also here probably mash fill hole well sometimes it doesn't uh, act like this uh, most of the time when it happens that faces are removed or look transparent um, they're actually there uh, and it's just a Maya bug and she doesn't uh, show them on the uh, on the port view but she does react to them like as they were f uh, regular faces now the other problem were uh, were this uh, little microphone uh, that I tried to assemble here so I will try to delete it and maybe create a new polygon because uh, that polygon was um, some kind of uh, duplicated item and for uh, a boolean function to work uh, most of the time you need to have uh, more subdivisions or any you know lines on your object so uh, Maya can work with them in order to uh, set uh, the position for them and what happens is that when she doesn't have uh, lines to work with like this empty face here you know that I'm trying to assemble this microphone uh, hole inside it um, she doesn't know how to assemble those two pieces um, and also it happens because um, we are uh, along this tutorial we done a lot of uh, booleans differences to this object and therefore I asked you before to 
go over uh, edit and delete the by type the history for this uh, object so this is what most people what um, what most people do when they are uh, getting into this problem where you can't assemble by uh, you know by using the um, boolean's difference uh, function so uh, this is one of the solution uh, it's not always working but you can try it now as you can see uh, because I used a new polygon that um, had this um, lines here um, actually uh, you can see that I succeeded on creating this all but somehow I've got another thing here which I'm not sure what is it okay so let's let me just undo this undo that okay let's try this uh, move this here maybe and uh, maybe uh, bring it deeper inside and then mash booleans difference okay same result uh, well, I truly don't know what to say about it okay uh, but um, I'll try to move it maybe over here mash booleans difference okay same same thing same result uh, let's see what's happening inside um, alright so um, maybe just maybe uh, choose this face here and try to triangulate it okay so that way um, Maya will add some more um, random random um, subdivisions uh, on it and basically it's trusting on any vertices that they are uh, up on this um, face so um, maybe now it will be easier for her to um, assemble this okay so let's try no my fault um, again maybe this time it will work not sure as you can see I'm also um, using the um, undo one step backward like uh, in any other application uh, just to get back to the normal uh, Okay, I will try to undo the triangulate because it's too much, doesn't look good, and maybe uh, maybe we will try to do some uh, delete all by type history. Okay, again, now it's delete all by type, it's not the same as delete by type history. Okay, so I may get the same result again and let's just choose this uh, strange circle that's been added here I'm not sure what's the reason for it oh, okay now you can see what's happening um, see the somehow the it was pointed to the center and this is what's causing this uh, issue so I will try to undo that and probably I need to maybe center the pivot for the iPhone itself and then try to do this okay no still the same problem but hey this is uh, halfway of the solution so we may need to choose all those faces except uh, I'll try to bring it back to okay this one and try to delete these now what I actually done I deleted those center uh, the things that were related to this center now I'm trying to remove these edges now uh, maybe it's faces so 
you will have to try both of the uh, both of them you see uh, sometimes it reacts as faces even though it looks like edges um, so pay attention for things like this um, you see this is how you get to learn new things and how to solve uh, issues with Maya okay so after we somehow uh, assemble this microphone kind of thing uh, we may use uh, a move tool in order to place it near to the injector that's it okay so let me first see that I didn't chose anything else beside this microphone and try to move it over here okay so that way it looks the same as the iPhone um, now hold down the shift here and right click choose insert edge loops okay sorry again hold down the shift okay right click and still hold the right click and the shift together and choose this insert edge loop tool okay and release both of them now you will get this arrow so I want you to add one more circle you see uh, you click once hold and try to create something that will look like this okay and also we will try to okay never mind we will use what we already created so now right click choose faces choose those faces and sorry about the little snitch and move them somewhere here okay like this inside bring them down sorry uh, I may need to use this function here do something like this again extrude it bring it outside and bring it first before you bring it choose this little uh, option here click on it so the axis will centered and bring it up like so so this is how it looks in in an iPhone okay and don't worry about it um, you may want to choose the inner faces here you see those and choose them uh, choose one of them and the one beside them sh with shift and double click your mouse and extrude them uh, first choose this menu and move them down so that way you will get something that really looks like the real thing okay uh, you can bring them all the way down to the bottom of this uh, cave <laughs> okay um, that's fine okay so um, last thing is um, we need to create another um, mute um, like silent mode uh, for this um, um, iPhone and the SIM card uh, slot here okay but uh, first let me see okay so I can't uh, really do this uh, right now because uh, as I told you I want to keep my tutorials like uh, in some uh, shorter times this time for those tutorials uh, for this series of tutorials so uh, we will continue at the fifth part um, I hope that in some way this tutorial part help you um, I know I don't need to feel sorry about this or something but uh, as I told you you always get to learn new things even though you make mistakes this is how life goes and the best thing is to learn and fix your uh, issues uh, either if it's your issues or this uh, application issue <laughs> okay so um, we'll meet you soon at the fifth part tutorial I hope you having fun and enjoying this tutorial. Uh, bye for now and have a nice day. Okay, bye.